one of the stories that I had later on in my mission taught me the importance of following the Spirit and of planning and planning by the Spirit. Lots of lessons can be drawn from all kinds of stories. But this on a Saturday night, me and my companion were planning and we had no real solid plan set for after church and we didn't really know what we were going to do. We had a lesson like that was a couple hours afterwards and we felt that we should go by this potential that had been a potential for months. Um, so they had been contacted like six months before and they had set a couple of appointments and always felt through, they fell through on them, whether it was because they wanted to have their whole family there to learn or they had something else to do, just whatever. So they were kind of feeling wishy-washy. We're about to get ready to just not go by them anymore. But we felt that we should. So after church, we, you know, we got on our bikes and we went over to that part of our area. And we found out that the night before, the mom of this family, she had just had one of her sons go to jail. And she was going through a really hard time and she didn't really know what to do. She didn't know where to turn. But we showed up and we were literally an answer to her prayers. And I know that that wouldn't have happened if we hadn't been willing to listen to the Spirit. If we had been like, nah, we've tried by her before. She's not going to progress or anything. So we went by her. She was just really, really open because she was in such need. Like, God had really prepared her to, to hear what we had to say. So we promised her that she would be able to find comfort through the Book of Mormon and through prayer and through coming to church. And she did it. And it was amazing to see the difference in her life. Even though things didn't really get easier for her, like her son was still in jail, her family situation was still pretty rough. Um, she was always still worried about her kids. When she started reading the scriptures, when she started praying, when she started coming to church and making friends in the church, her life was just so much more at peace. She, like, you could see that she was so much happier. And that was an amazing thing to see. It made me really happy when she finally got baptized. And it just made me really grateful that the Spirit does talk to us and tell us what we need to do. Because it is God's work. It's not our work. If we thought that we have the best plan, like, nothing real will happen. We need to be willing to put aside our preconceived notions and ideas about people. Be willing to listen to what God knows about them. Yeah. I also met a guy from Nicaragua and he when we first met him he was a really sad case like he had been uh, addicted to drugs and was in and out of like recovery like hospitals and stuff and he had never really been able to make any progress and he was just he had lost his family he'd lost his job he had nothing um, he came to us uh, kind of as a referral his sister had told him, well, you should probably, like, go get some help. Like, you know, you could talk to these missionaries and they might be able to help you out. So this guy, he came to us and he called us on the phone, approached us, and he was legitimately humbled. His circumstances had humbled him to the point that he had no other option but to go to God. So as we started working with him and working with him, his life changed. We saw so many miracles happen in his life. He was able to get back in contact with his family. And he got a house and a job and moved back in with his family. And he started... He had he referred his son to us, and we started teaching him, and he had a baptismal date and everything, and it was amazing to see the difference that the gospel makes in somebody's life, and going just from this total scum of the earth, I guess, to all of a sudden he's going out with the missionaries. He is bringing people into the gospel. He's helping out with the ward activities. He's a man who has seen and recognizes miracles in his life. It's really cool to see that difference.